today we're going to be doing something a little bit different. We're going to do a chair yoga sequence. And this is just going to be a basic chair yoga warm up. So you want to start out in a chair with a nice firm back and preferably without armrests. Um, but you can do it in a chair that has arms. They might get in the way a little bit. But um, make sure that you're comfortable. Make sure that you can sit with the soles of the feet flat on the floor and your knees at 90 degrees, your hips at 90 degrees, and sit a little bit away from the back of the chair so that you're using your postural muscles to keep yourself up straight. First thing, we're going to start out just checking our posture. So take a nice inhale, lengthen up through the crown of the head, draw the shoulders back, make sure that the chest is open. On your exhale, feel your pelvis rooting down into the chair and try to pay attention to the sitting bones. So the bottom of the pelvis should feel like it's really firmly supported by the chair. And then from there, we'll take an inhale, lift up out of the spine, find that nice tall posture, and then we'll start with our deep breath that we always use in yoga. Breathing nice and slowly in through the nose and out through the nose. After you've taken a couple deep breaths, we're going to start out by working some of the tension out of the neck. We'll take an exhale, just gently drop the chin down to your chest. Feeling that opening down the sides of the neck, down the back of the neck. With every exhale, letting the weight of the head relax down. Back of the neck lengthens. We're going to start to add some little side to side movements here. Inhale draws you through center, exhale come over toward the front of one shoulder, inhaling back through center, exhale to the front of the other shoulder. As the neck loosens up, make that movement a bit bigger. Maybe start to look up to one side and then roll back to center, look up to the other side. Feel that leg right down into the shoulder. Exhale, roll back into center. And then we'll take our inhale and come up. Next exhale, drop your head over so that the ear is coming toward the top of the shoulder. And again, every exhale, the weight of the head just sinks over with gravity. And if you want, you can take your left hand and hold on to the side of the chair. That way, you can pull on the chair just a bit to sink the shoulder blade down. If you're comfortable here and you want to deepen, take the right hand, gently place it onto the side of the head. We're not applying any pressure with the arm, we're just gently relaxing the weight of the arm there to deepen that opening. On your next inhale, slowly come back to center. We'll go over to the other side on our exhale, left ear to the top of the left shoulder, right hand can gently hold onto the outside of the chair, and just sink the right shoulder down, inhaling, lengthening through the neck on your exhale, relax the head to the side, either staying here or if you want to deepen, left hand gently rests onto the side of the head, One more deep breath here. Inhale, coming back through center. Now the neck is warmed up. Let's move on to the shoulders. We're going to start out with the hands right on the knees. And just take an inhale. Sweep the arms up. Reaching up through the fingertips on your exhale. Slowly drop the arms to the front. And one more time like that. Inhaling up. Exhale to come down. And then we'll come out to the sides. We're going to inhale. Sweep the arms out and up. Exhaling, coming down. One more breath like that. Inhale up. Exhale down. Dropping the hands to the heart, coming into prayer. And let's rotate. 
fingers down toward the floor, get a little stretch of the wrists. As you rotate the fingers down, make sure that the shoulders don't start to gather tension. On your exhale, relax the shoulder blades down and just gently draw up through the heels of the hands until you feel a stretch on the underside of your wrist. Let's take an inhale. Turn the fingers up. Let's take the arms straight out front. Just circle the wrists a few times, going in one direction and then switching, circling in the opposite direction. Reaching the arms straight out front. Exhale, drop the fingers down and inhale, bring them up. Try to isolate that movement just at the wrist joint. And really strong reach out through the arms like you're pressing into a wall, pressing the back of the hands into that wall. Inhale, coming up, pressing palms into that wall. This time coming up, making fists, and we'll circle through the fists a few times, feeling the stretch up into your forearm. And if this bothers your shoulders, keeping your arms up here like this, you can always keep the elbows in at the sides and do the same movement with the wrists. This is just a little bit more challenging. Making sure that you switch, take some circles in the opposite direction, and then we'll release the hands. So shaking out the hands, making the fingers nice and loose, and just shaking them out. Feeling that shake come a little bit higher up the arms, nice and loose. And then maybe getting the shoulders involved a little bit. A couple more shakes. And then you can release the arms down. So checking your posture, coming back to that nice tall sitting position. And we'll take an inhale to roll the shoulders up and back. Inhaling, taking the shoulders up. And then exhale, pull them back. So then maybe that circle starts to roll down the arms a little bit. You can get the arms involved. Taking one more nice big circle. Releasing the arms down. So now we're going to switch that circle the opposite direction. We'll draw the shoulder blades back and then roll them up to the front. Okay. Starting out. Just isolating the movement in the shoulders. And then feeling it start to move down the arms a bit. And this one kind of feels like you're swimming. Pulling the arms back and sweeping them to the front. Let's take one more circle this way. Releasing the arms. Now let's take right arm across the chest, draw it over, and follow the hand with your gaze. So look over at the right fingertips. You can either stay here or if you want, add a little twist with the spine, so start to follow with your shoulders. Coming back into the center, releasing the right arm, take the left arm across your chest, so as you draw the arm in, you're going to feel that stretch come around the shoulder, into the shoulder blade. Try to bring your gaze over to the left fingertips. And you can either stay here, just stretching the arm up. If you want to move into the back a little bit, take your exhale, a little twist over to the right. Take your inhale back into center. This time we're going to interlace the fingers and stretch out in front. So as you reach out through the palms, round through the back, scoop the belly in, roll the hips back, feel a nice little stretch in between the shoulder blades. And then we'll take an inhale, reach the palms up to the ceiling, nice and straight through the spine. Exhale, curl into your, into your belly, round the spine. Inhaling, opening up to the ceiling. Exhale, round forward. Working on getting that perfect match between the breath and the movement. Inhale to lengthen the spine. Exhale, curve. Get that stretch in the back muscles.
One more breath like that. Exhale, rounding. Inhale, lengthening. And then your exhale, drop the palms down to the heart. And we'll take one deep breath here. Now, starting to move into the back a bit more. Um, we warmed it up a little bit with that one. We're going to take it a little bit farther. So on your exhale, come into like a cat stretch, round the back, draw the shoulder blades out to the sides. And you can hold on to the knees. And then we'll inhale, pull the elbows back, lift the chest up. Exhale, round, roll the pelvis back. Try to scoop the belly button in. Exhale. Inhale, lift the chest. Now it's up to you. On your inhale, you can either come up to a straight sitting position, or if you want, you can lift the chest and get just a little baby back bend there. So whatever feels better for your back. We're going to take one more breath like that. Exhale, rounding forward, reaching out through the arms. Inhale, lifting up. Now taking the hands onto the sides of the chair, and it's up to you how far you want to slide them back. Just make sure that it's comfortable for your back. We're going to take an inhale, lift the chest up, go a little bit farther into our back bend. Now as you're lifting up, take your inhale nice and high in the chest. Try to feel it right behind the collarbones. using that inhale right at the top of the lungs. And thinking about drawing your shoulder blades back to get that nice opening through the chest, and that's what allows us to get that breath nice and high in the lungs. Okay, let's get a counter stretch here. Come forward, round through the spine, reach for the knees. Inhale, coming up straight. Now let's go over into our side bend. We're going to take the right hand Hold on to the outside of the chair, and then inhale, left arm comes up, sitting up nice and tall. On your exhale, start to arch the spine over to the right side, using the right hand for support, but focusing on getting length through the left side of the rib cage, the left side of the waist, and that left hip is still planted down onto the chair. Just make sure that the left hip doesn't lift off. Take an inhale back to center. On your exhale, drop the left hand down, hold on to the side of the chair. We'll take an inhale, right arm comes up, nice and long. On your exhale, side bend to the left. Using your inhale to feel the breath come into the side of the ribs, side of the lungs over on your right. One more deep breath on this side. We'll inhale, come back up to center. Exhale, release that arm down.